Hey guys! So I thought I would do like a little get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I just wanted to get ready and just film it. It's not a tutorial. It's just basically I'm going to show you what I use and how I do it. I always start off by priming my face with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It has a little bit of a tint to it, but you can't really see that. You can't see it when it's on, so I just rub it in. And I find it does do a really good job at blurring. I always like to pat it in around my pores to get it like sunken in, I don't know. <laughs> For foundation, I just started using this yesterday. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and I'm in the color NC15. My sister just got this foundation and it doesn't match her unfortunately. For her but fortunately for me so she's like do you want it I was like yeah so I just use my beauty blender this is actually the real beauty blender I strayed away from the real beauty blender for like a year I've been using just dupes and stuff and dupes the dupes are really good but I spoiled myself and bought the real beauty blender like a month or two ago and Guys, there's nothing like the Real Beauty Blender, nothing. And it comes in different colors now, not just like the pink. So I got this blue color. The thing I really like about this foundation is that it is really lightweight. So if you're somebody that like can't stand heavy, thick foundation, this foundation would be like a dream for you because you cannot feel it. It just feels like you're just dabbing your face with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the color Fair. And if you have not used this concealer, you like it is the best concealer ever, in my opinion. I also use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation or Concealer in Fair, and that's good too, but I just find it's thicker and this one like blends in better. To set my under eye, I like to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I heard that it gives you a little bit of flashback if that's something that concerns you. I'm using the Aesthetica P12 brush. I think we got this in something BoxyCharm maybe. I get BoxyCharm and Ipsy, so sometimes I forget what I got in each thing. I really like this brush for setting the under eye because it's like fluffy and light. To set my entire face, I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoother Pressed Powder. I love this powder. I love it, but I'm, in the same sense, I'm, I'm open to like trying different ones. Like I like trying different products. I heard Rimmel has a good one in the drugstore, and I'm using the Real Techniques Powder Brush to apply it. I think I'll do my brows next. Sometimes I do contour, of course, but... So I've been really liking the Brow Powder It Cosmetics Brow Pencil. It has like a spoolie on the end, and then the other side is the product. I think I mostly just like it because the color is really good for me, because the product itself is really thick. So if you like a really fine-tipped uh, brow... I should brush them. Brow Pencil then this one is quite thick. You might not like it, but my brows are totally out of control. Like I have not waxed my eyebrows in months. Sometimes I just let them go because <laughs> really, it's really not that big of a deal to me. But then once I wax them, I'm like, why did I ever let them go? You know what I mean? But I have a wedding to go to in two weeks. So I think I'm going to wait until it's like closer to the wedding and then wax them. So I just do like light little strokes. I used to do the full brow, but now I just do like right here. Look, my hair's really light, so you can't really see, but right here, there's hair here. I don't touch those with this. I just do basically from here on, and then I'll show you what I do. The next step I do is I use the Brow Gal and Tanya Crooks Instant Tinted Brow, or the Instant Tinted Brow Gel with microfibers, and I'm in the color Light 03. I don't know if you can tell or if you're even reading it. <laughs> but this was also a boxy charm item and it has the little tiny spoolie. And what I do is I just do the front part of my eyebrows. 
so it makes it look more natural and not it doesn't look like I filled it in with a pencil do you know what I mean like I feel like it looks more natural I got this palette the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte it's a contour palette I love this I use every single color except this one and sometimes I do use that one but I use every single one of these colors just because I like mix them, do you know what I mean? And then these two colors I use as well. I'll show you how I use those. I always start off with this middle color because I feel like it's the coolest color. And I really like to use cool tone colors when I'm bronzing or contouring. So I'm just bronzing up the face with that color. I will use a more warmer tone, but I prefer to use like a cooler tone. I just think it looks better. And I go all the way up I like I just like I don't like I just go like all the way up. <laughs> I just feel like it gives my face so much more color because like I'm fair I'm really fair but this foundation my sister gave me the MAC one it matches my skin perfectly like I feel like it was made for my skin so I just I try to blend it as much as I can but I go in later and blend it out more and I'm just using the real techniques what brush is this contour brush it's actually called contour brush a lot of the times I don't use brushes what they're actually made for I'll use them for something else <laughs> then I take the real techniques stippling brush and I really like this brush for blending and I go over all the spots that I did and blend it out really good doesn't it look better blended? Now that I have that all blended out, what I like to do is use this Pure Sculptor contouring palette that I got from Boxy Charm, and I like to. A lot of people didn't like this because they thought the colors were too dark. The highlighters are really pretty, so even if you could use it for the highlighters, it, it's really pretty and it smells nice. But I usually take this top color and I just tap it in just like a little tiny bit on this little brush from Crown, which I think we got in BoxyCharm. And I just go like really lightly to contour, like just to make a shadow. Like, whoop. And then I just kind of blend it in. The next thing I do is blush, which is my favorite. What do I want to use? I don't think I really want to use this one today, but I no, maybe I will use it today because I've been using a lot of high-end products, so I feel like I should use a drugstore product. This one is by Hard Candy, and it, this like caught my eye in Walmart when I was there. It's called Fox in a Box, and it's in the color Girl Next Door, and it smells like strawberries. It's, it's actually, it is a good blush, so I just use my blush brush from Real Techniques, and I just smile it on my cheeks but it's really pretty I they had other colors but I use a lot of blush like I have like Tarte blush palette and they have like the blushes like from Jaclyn Hill and then they have I have matte I have like so I have like matte blushes and Tarte blushes and Bobbi Brown this one is really 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 good so good if you I just bought the little tiny guy because the big one is like outrageously priced but if you can get the little guy and just try because this will last you forever but it is so so good what other one I have an hourglass one it's really good too oh I feel like I should have used the hourglass one I haven't used this one in a long time but it's really good too. Anyways, I'm gonna use the fox in the box today. But I really like pink blushes, like baby pink blushes. I feel like they suit me the best. I'm not really into like peach color blushes and all that kind of stuff. I feel like warm colors don't suit me. And this blush is so pigmented and it was so cheap. And I like to take the stippling blush and like just like buff out any harsh lines. So then I'm gonna take my, this brush. I got it from Ipsy. It's by, what's it called? Royal and Land Nickel or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna take the blush, or the highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Amorizy or something like that. It's so pretty, I love it so much. And I always like 
do the tip of my nose because that's what the beauty gurus tell you to do. I haven't straightened my hair in three weeks. I've been just giving it a break from the heat. Like sometimes it's a bit much. Okay, so next I'm going to do the eyes. I'm gonna use a couple different palettes. The first one I'm gonna use is my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I've been loving this thing. And I'm just going to take this brush that I got from Ipsy by Miss Glam or something like that. I don't know, that's it there. And I'm just gonna take this color. This is my favorite color in the world to use. It's just like a cream color. Cause I set it down as my base. I use it every single time I do my makeup. I never skip that step. So it really, really bothers me when I buy a palette and it doesn't have that shade. Like the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette so much. But she doesn't have that color because these two are shimmers. They're both really shimmery so they don't work. And these are too dark for my skin. So I don't have a color like that in this palette. But that's okay, we deal. And then I think I'm going to take this top color here and that's called Less Is More. The cream color was called Heaven. And I'm just gonna take this Lux Beauty brush, the Tapering Blending brush. That's also a brush, or a brush that I got from BoxyCharm. I get a lot of my brushes from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I've been with BoxyCharm for over a year. But I should tell you what I'm doing. I just blend it above the crease. Like I like buff out the crease. I guess you would call this a transition color. I'm not really sure. I'm not really transitioning anything. <laughs> I really love this brush. It's by the Vintage Cosmetic Company and it's step two for the shadow and it's like angled and it's dirty because all my brushes are dirty because I wasn't going to clean them just to do a video because this is how I always do my makeup but I'm going to use this color here and that's in the color Risky Biz and tap some of it off and what I like to do is this is like a little secret that I do I find it really helps me get like a more even application but I coat the brush with shadow and then I almost like stamp it where I want it like I want it here right so I'm gonna stamp it there do the same thing to the other side so it's even just kind of stamp it so I have like a guide and then I just kind of blend it out from that little stamp. I know it looks funny right now because it's not blended, but I take whatever is left on this brush and I sweep it under my eyes. I always put shadow under here, like always. I just use the leftover product. Now I'm gonna take the Taper Blending from Luxie. I think we've already used this, but I don't even wash it, I just keep going. And I'm just blending where I laid the color so it's not harsh. See, this eye is blended, this eye is not. Lately, I've been doing this step and I've been getting compliments, so I've been um, keeping up the step. <laughs> but I go into my Jaclyn Hill palette, and I can't even tell you the name of the color because. I have the old packaging where there's no names on the back and normally she had like an insert that came with her palette but I didn't receive it. It didn't come in mine. Like I didn't even receive any name colors but I'm using this color here. It's my favorite color in the entire palette and it's like a shimmer shade and I'm going to take this brush, this is from all the way back when I used to do makeup for a living. This came in my kit. It's like the best brush. I don't even know what to even call it. I don't even know. There's n The name is worn off it. But I just like to tap it in the shadow. So you like your brush is like coated. I know you couldn't see that. And then I take setting spray. This one is the spray set go. And I think this was from BoxyCharm as well. And I just... Spray the brush so it's wet, and then I dip it back in the shadow. So the shadows work really good wet. So I'm going to just lightly like tap the shadow on. But yeah, I just apply it like that. It's really, it's a really, really pretty, like, 
I don't want to say champagne because it's not gold. It has more of like a pink undertone to it. But I do that and then I use a different brush. This one is from Royal and Land Nickel as well. It's this little, it's like the same brush I just used, except it's more of like a baby brush. You can't even see it. Anyways, I do the exact same thing. Spray it. I get it wet. And I do this because it fits better in the corner. So I feel like you get a neater application if you use a smaller brush. And I'm going to go back into the Too Faced palette and I want to intensify my under eye. So I'm gonna go back into the color Risky Biz and just go under it with this brush that I've gotten in my makeup kit as well from when I did aesthetics. The name is all worn off it. I have no idea. These brushes are like 11 years old. <laughs> And they're still so good. Like if you take care of, if you have good brushes and you take care of them, which I mean, I didn't take care of them, so they still kind of held up. Um, I took care of them back in the day. I shouldn't say that I did. This is from Rimmel Scandalize. It's just their nude liner. I like to put it in my waterline just to help brighten up that area. I find white too harsh for me. I'm using this gel liner from Pretty Vulgar. This is also a product that I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm gonna take the brush from Instetica. It came with the liner in BoxyCharm. I like this liner a lot. But yeah, you just dip it in and then I just kind of wipe away the excess. I'm not doing a big dramatic wing or nothing. I'm just going over my natural lash line. Do you know what I mean? Like just enhancing it. I'm so over the wing look. I really am. I did it for a long time. So the next thing is mascara and I'm going to use the Bad Gal Bane mascara from Benefit. I really love this mascara. It's a really really wet formula so if that is not your thing then you might not like it. It does dry a bit after a little while and I feel like that's when I started to like it more is when it dried out more but it's really good. I think it's definitely worth trying. But I find all Benefit mascaras so nice. Like their real is, so, or not their real. That's nice too. But the Roller Lash. I love the Roller Lash mascara. I was gonna show you what I do with the colors from the Tarte, from the Parkist Park Avenue Princess with these two colors. I take this brush from Royal and Nan Nickel or whatever, and I just mix it in both the light colors. I got this brush from BoxyCharm, and I draw a line. <laughs> so I kind of bake, I guess. I draw a line right under my contour. So I find it cleans it up. So I'll just let that sit for a minute. I usually do that right after I do my bronzer and all that, um, and let it sit while I do my makeup. But God, the lip products are behind the camera. There. I got this in Ipsy and I actually complained about getting it in Ipsy because I was like, I don't want to get the lip products anymore. But I actually really like it. Lord and Berry. It's in the color Intimacy. It's actually a lipstick, but I use it as a lip liner. I just line my lips with it, like really thick. And it's like really smooth, like a lipstick. Like you, you can tell it's not a lip liner. And then I take lipstick. I'm going to take the color Strip Search by Too Faced. I love this lipstick. I just bought it and I'm over halfway gone. And I'll apply that. Okay, well I'm done, so I think I should just wipe away the baking. I use the same brush that I use for my under eyes, and I just wipe away where I cleaned up the bronzer. So that is it for this video. If you wanna see more like 
really casual get ready with me type of videos let me know I can definitely do more of them I just I don't know I like to throw them out there at you now and then. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps my videos get found in the search. So I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.